Very good morning to our children. Last time we have learned history. Today I am here with geography class of class 6. So today we will be learning lines on a globe. Okay. As you know in our first chapter, okay, in our first chapter that is in the solar system, we have learned that solar system or you can say sun gives a uh, reflection to all the planets. Right? Among the planets we have one the earth. Okay? Where the living organism exists. Where it is also called a blue planet. Right? So the earth is a, as you know that it is a huge body or you can say a spherical in shape and that cannot be seen. That cannot be uh, assumed. Okay? We know that we exist but the spherical in shape that cannot be known. So to make it easier, to make it understand the earth shape, the, it has been created a small miniature form. It has been created a three dimensional a small representation, you can say an earth representation. What is that? That is called the globe. Okay? And for that reason, in the globe, we will be learning about different imaginary lines. There are different imaginary lines where a globe helps us to understand where latitudes, longitudes, okay, where the heat zone on which part the sun rays falls must and how these timings are come, come to be. That means we are learning about different time zones, okay, in our later classes. But for time we see here, we will start with the globe definition, okay. Now see, a globe is a three dimensional model of the earth. So what it is called? It is called three dimensional model of the earth. As you have seen the globe, it has a three dimensional the first right and the back. Okay, three dimensional model of the earth. It is spherical in shape. As the earth is also spherical in shape, so the globe is also spherical in shape. And axis, see, axis is a imaginary line. Okay, I'll show you on the globe. Axis is an imaginary line. is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree. And that this angle is intersect with the globe at North Pole and the South Pole. Now see, this is a rough picture. This is a rough picture I have drawn for you. You can see that it is a picture of a globe. Got it? Now this globe is helps to run in a imaginary line. There is an imaginary line on which the earth rotates. In the same way, here also in the globe there is an imaginary line that is rotating. That helps to rotate. Okay? That is called, what it is called? It is called axis. Got it? It is called axis. And where these imaginary lines are intersect, that is called North Pole and South Pole. Okay? So, as there is one more line, it, this axis is tilted, this is a little bend. Okay? This is bending, and for that cause, it forms one angle over here. It forms one angle. And what is that angle? It is this 23 and a half degree. Okay? 23 and a half degree. So, you got it, globe. Globe is a three dimensional figure where axis is there which helps to rotate the globe or you can say the earth. Okay. And it is an imaginary line where it intersects. It is called North Pole and South Pole. Okay. And this line it is tilted. It gives an angular that is 23 and a half degree. Okay. And it is also 23 and a half degree. And what it is called? It is called a pole. What it is called? It is called pole. Where this line is
Now let us start with the lines of latitude. a 
Again, we can say it is divided into minutes. Okay, divided into minutes. And again, this minutes, again this minutes, again divided into sixty equal parts. That is called a second. That is called a second. So you just see here this latitude lines are divided into sixty equal parts. That is called minute. And again that minute is divided into again sixty equal parts. That is called second. Okay. In small term minutes. We write in single apostrophe. We write minutes in single apostrophe, and second we write in double apostrophe. Okay, and degree we write in the small form. We write in the small form called degree. Why this minutes, seconds are being divided in the latitude? It is called to calculate the time. Okay, in the later class you will know that how times are calculated. Why it is if it is 2 p.m. or in India? Why it is 5 p.m. or 5 Or we can say different timings are there in foreign countries that you will understand through this time. Okay, for only for today or you when latitudes are as latitudes are going on, just try to understand that this this latitudes or lines of latitudes are called are measured in degree. It has divided into sixty equal parts called minutes, and that minutes again divided into sixty equal parts called second. Okay, and see here this this line. Interval of one degree. That means after one degree, the lines are being, the lines are being drawn. Okay, and this one degree, or you can say the distance from one from one line to another line is one hundred eleven kilometer. Okay, so this is the lines of latitude. I repeat again. In a globe, globe is a three-dimensional figure. Okay, there you have one imaginary line called equator. After that, the lines are divided. Okay, that is called lines of latitude. That is from and divide the north and south hemisphere. Again, you have one more imaginary line that is divided from the pole. That is called longitude or meridians. Okay, and this lines of latitude is measured in degree. Okay, and and the time interval of each each line is one degree and one degree. The distance between this Lines is 111 kilometer. Again, this uh, you can say this degrees are divided into 60 equal parts called minutes, and that minutes again divided into 60 equal parts called second. This much only for today, children. Just understand this class. If you have the book, just go through the part of the lines of latitude. We are understanding what this figure actually means about. And timing is very important because through timing only you can understand the different time zone. Because in the later class we will be learning different time zone. For the, this reason, it is very important to understand this. Okay? So see you in the next class. Till then, do your homework, complete all your things.